All right, so welcome again to the Terry Gwen TV. Thank you very much for joining me. And I wanted to do, to do my post match um, reaction last night. But I said, you know what? Let me rewatch the game before I get um, emotionally invested in that, the post match. So when I watch the game, I, I, I take up some pointers, actually. A whole list. A whole list of things. <laughs> uh, a whole list of things. Uh, this here. Hopefully, you guys can scar out. Um, hopefully, you can start to hear all of them. Um, not many people will stick around to hear all of these because it's, this is depressing. It's really, really depressing. So, let's see who have the faith and the strength of heart to stick around to listen to all these pointers and where we went wrong, where we could fix things. And most definitely, we're going to get that. As it stands, people, hopefully hit the button, smash that subscribe button if you're here for the first time. Really appreciate it. How I'm feeling right now, let me tell, tell you how I'm feeling as it stands. Emotional! <laughs> yeah, Jamaica 0 and Dira 5. A horror show. A, a mere horror show. You know, in the mean, you know, I'm going to say, we can't get the, the, the picture there from. We can't get the picture from, man. I need to have a look. I need you guys to have a look at the picture. So far, those don't remember. Maybe you know, you wake up the man and you're just upset. Let's have a look at the picture. This is what the players were playing on last night. That is a big style. And that is a big side. Nevertheless, they still hold us. They still flag us, literally flagged us. So, let's start off by the team selection. I don't want to make it too long. Let's start off by the team selection. Um, team selection as expected. Um, Connor Boys, Clark, Gold, Romain Blake, Luke Abadley, Morgan, um, Lamont Rochester, Tariq Zimis, Kobe Thomas, Christopher Pearson, Duncan McKenzie, Tyler Roberts, Devante Campbell, and Jamari Clark. I would say a more of an attacking lineup this is. Um, but nevertheless, we didn't have any central defensive midfielder. And uh, that team needed a central defensive midfielder. For sure, it was a 4-3-3 formation. And the person sitting at the base of that formation in front of the back line is Christopher Pearson. And we've seen from the first game, he's not covering the ground. Um, he's not covering the, the, ground, the, the, the areas in, on the pitch that he's supposed to be covering. And then, no, on regards to the defensive aspect, we're not getting that from him. And the truth is, he's not a CDM, so I don't, I don't know why we would deploy him as a central defensive midfielder. That didn't make any sense to me. Um, surprisingly, no start for Chad James, who came on to the came on to the field last time out and looked like a bright spark. Looked like a real, real bright spark um, coming up. So, let's start off. Um, as I said, mentioned the pitch was horrible, and that's not Kankakaf standard. I, I I would say that's not definitely not Kankakaf standard. I've seen people be about prison oval <laughs> the other day when we do the tier two, but that worse. Anyways, um, first goal score in the first minute. Uh, defender went through the the, the central. The, basically, um, the, the goal the header goal. Um, uh, it was between Pearson and Badley Morgan actually. A striker running between the both of them and head the ball in the back of the net. Not much to keep, well, not a, nothing at all the keeper can do from that. That's a point blank either. Um, second, up to the first 30 minutes, Duncan and, and Blake look as if they um, are the most outstanding players on our team. Blake looking solid, Duncan getting really, really Im involved in the game, um, doing a lot of um, touches all over the pitch. Um, a lot of energy from, from, from Duncan, I would say. Um, going forward, I'll say so if the first half. First 30 minutes, evenly contested battle. The goal that is quite kind of separate of us. Um, going to include um, to the closure of the first half. No. To the close of the first half, um, was it? Uh, no. Was it on the third or fourth? Third or fourth minute. We are the goal striker. Um, and I was Bruce Pass, the goalkeeper. And I'm beating, but I do think that the defense was lack lacking. The defense was really lacking uh, 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 in that aspect. So we we have some serious problem with the defense. And uh, and with the defense, you, you can beat the defense, but sometimes the ball that is coming 
is actually coming from a central zone. So I do think that for most of the game, or midfield, the area in front of goal, I think that that, that, that area Pearson can show us, um, is that it, it didn't, there's no steel right there. Someone is going to screen the back four and protect the back four. That is the reason why, despite of so much possession, we were so easy to rip apart. Um, one, one or two passes um, in the central zone and, and we'll rip apart. We, ha- we, co- we have, when we're in possession of the, of the ball, we do keep the ball really well in the central area, but we don't have possession of the ball. We, 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 we we don't have someone to tackle. We don't have someone to pick up the the, the, the half space. Someone is going to read the game and cut up and cut in, uh, cut, cut the passing lanes and put it in. we don't have that. That's not the main reason why we can't see so much goals. And it was just so easy for the um, under us team to just rip us apart. On the forty-four minute now counter, um, um, late challenge after a uh, uh, dangerous counter counter attack um led us to a. Uh, a red card actually to 10 to 10 man down and people said that it was 2v1 no it's actually two um jamaican player um who was on the who was actually um trying to get back there i think it was rochester first first phase of, of of defense and then blake was actually coming around to cover while the winger was actually bursting away on, on the goal i wouldn't really advise him for me i think that was the wrong decision by rochester to go in and make that challenge i think that's the wrong decision that's that that's basically not the right thing to do um he could have actually guided the player a little bit just guided the player enough to go towards the goal because a challenger that will most definitely um, led to a red card um so i personally think that he should have just guide the player um, um um to goal um ah uh, <laughs> let me continue um so Second half starts now, early in the second half, then got another goal. <laughs> striker, another another goal where the striker defeats, um, run past the, the, the defenders. I think this is one where he, I think it's one where he kind of bunks off Blake. Kind of bunks off Blake. Bunks off Blake for, the, for, the, for this, this other, the third goal. He bunks off Blake and, and just go knock it past the goalkeeper, man, by boys clock and just score a kind of easy tap in for him. Tough, tough look. Um, Clark, Clark get a few chances leading up. That goal scored on the 47 minute. In, in the same sense, Clark get a good, good chances. Um, substitution came on. I thought um, Tyler Roberts came off. Um, Chad James came in. I do think that Tyler Roberts could have stayed on the pitch longer. I'm surprised that Tyler Roberts is the first substitution when he's one of the players who actually look a lot dangerous going forward. Really surprised with that. Um, but Chad James came on. A breath of fresh air really really looking good and that's how, and, and he's the one who's bringing the attacking and um, potency to the team and giving the team some level of um know-how or reason too so i'm pretty much surprised that um chad james didn't even start this game and i'll be i'll be really surprised in the next game if chad james does not start the next game that would be oof, i'm telling you <laughs> um on the 58 minute um I, this is the 58 minute, right? Yeah, Zimini. This is one with, 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 with Zimini. Um, down the right hand side. Again, ball played in behind. I think this time Zimini was, was, caught, was caught a bit high. And down the right hand side, striker went through, winger went through, and hit the top bins. Um, Boris Clark came a little bit early, but there's not much he could have done with that one specifically. But that's how it is. Um, oof. <laughs> a whole collateral damage. Um, big big nail came on. Keep it cool. Keep it simple. Ticking still not still not something that we really needed. Um, we had a lot of possession, but we didn't dominate the areas of the pitch that we wanted to dominate. And that's 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 a really poor one, I I believe. Um, on the 83rd minute now, final goal. Um, where defender receives the ball, turn on Zimini's actually in front of the goal. And I'm surprised the minutes end up at the left back position and he's a right back. So the team shape was quite poor in that aspect. The team shape was really, really poor. Turns the minutes left, turns the minutes right, and then scored the goal. Um yeah. Then in regards to the goals that were scored. <laughs> that is that is how most of these goals what the goals were. And at this point, emotional. I just say go. Anyways, so. 
for me, I do think that this is now another poor display from 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 the young Riga boys. And there's so factors in this. Um, I hear many people um saying um Pearson didn't start, but in the same sense, we saw what Pearson did in the first match. We saw person person did in the first match, and he still started the second match. So definitely, that means it's not what we think or we leave. Um, there's something bigger at play here than we can actually explain. Um, for me, I do think that Pierce is not playing at a hundred percent. I do believe so. Um, in the later stage of the game, Duncan McKenzie kind of just kind of fade away. Scarlett came on and he really did put in a good ship. Um, he put in a lot of work. Um, so that's that's also another another key aspect. But going forward, I I, I do believe that the team selection needs to be better. In the same sense, if we should look at that team and our holistic value many of the players that are on the pitch would have definitely wanted to see start um but what will what, what what's the problem what went wrong i do think that this now is pointing towards not only specifically a player problem but a coaching problem as well so i do think that Fuzzy needs to get it right as, as it stands Fuzzy is not getting it right and things don't look really good on so on Fuzzy's side so this is something that he needs to fix up on um the prop right team selection and structure the team the team needs some structure it seems as if there's too much individuals playing and not um a team so that aspect uh, i don't think i need to go any further people not a good performance we got battered again unfortunately that's just how football is sometimes uh, it's just it's just unfortunate the of jamaica jamaica zero and there's five not a good day in the office very very poor day in the office what can be done what can be done coaching players system it's all a collective thing until next time people see you guys again